Hey, Rocky Ridge Virtual students. It's Mr. Shackle and Mr. Van, Steam and Art. We're gonna do a kind of a combined lesson today. And the first thing I want you to do is, I want you to, there's gonna be a link that your, your teacher sends out to you. And it's gonna be a link to the video of someone reading a book called The Creepy Pair of Underwear. It's a silly story and I really think you're gonna enjoy it. Yes, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna do on the art side of this by drawing a self-portrait of yourself. Now, you guys can use anything you have at home, it's fine. Uh, I'm using crayons here. I've got my 24 pack of Crayola crayons and just my regular piece of white paper. And by all means, you can use anything you have in your house. There is no wrong way to do this. But very quickly, I will show you that we are going to start by drawing ourselves on a piece of paper. Now, we wanna make sure that we have enough space for the bottom to have a good sized shirt on there because that is going to be the second part of our assignment when we get to working with Mr. Shaffle. Now, you can make yourself look however you would like. It being Halloween, that's fine to do whatever you would like on yourself. You can even make yourself only have one eye if you would like. Hey, look at that. Hey. And then we can put something on our shirt down here, maybe a big smiley face or maybe write a good message for our times right now. And then your finished product should look a lot like this, which is the drawing I did of myself without a mask on. And then Mr. Shaffle will take you through the next step of your assignment. So the next part of the assignment is going to be to make, like in the book, he had a creepy pair of underwear. We're just gonna make a creepy sweater to cover our shirt. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do to make sure your sweater covers like it's supposed to is use a ruler to measure your shirt to see how big your rectangle needs to be to cover it. Then you're going to decorate your sweater with anything you want to. I only use just a marker, but I want you to be more creative than I was and use more things like maybe cotton balls or pom-poms or anything you literally have around the house, any kind of recycled materials, kind of like the stuff that we have in the steam lab that we can't really use right now. So you can find all that stuff around home. You can make it creepy. You can really make it however you wanna make it. So um, we, that's pretty much it for this portion of the lesson. And we will um, hopefully be expecting some pictures of the really cool creative things that you guys create. Yeah, we wanna see what you create. Have fun with it. Be kind, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.